Hi everyone, this is Matt. Today we're going to do a presentation on the nerve cell. The nerve cell is really important to your entire being because it's via the nerve cells that all the critical information from your environment and also your internal environment is communicated to your brain and then your brain has to communicate back to the body and to the environment uh, via the nerve cells. So the nerve cell is primary to um, your being able to function as a human being. So I'd like to thank the publishers again of Funzionella Anatomy, which was published in uh, Berlin in 1990. And this is the presentation of the nerve cell. This is a wonderful piece of artwork. And I will bring it in slowly. And because this is very well done. This incredibly bright blue area is the nucleolus of the nerve cell. And then I'll go back slowly. We're going to focus on a few aspects of the nerve cell. And they are as follows. We have down here in number 12, that is uh, a dendrite. A dendrite is kind of like the tentacles of an octopus reaching out into the environment. It communicates information to the nerve cell. And then, in number 13, we look right there, that is an axon. An axon communicates information away from the nerve cell. And then, looking closely, and this is just incredibly well depicted, we have number 14 and number 15. They are the pre and post synaptic juncture. This is where neurotransmitters are exchanged and uh, information is communicated from one cell to another cell via these neurotransmitters. When uh, people have certain diseases, Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's, etc., there are problems with the transmission in different ways, but essentially uh, this juncture is for many disease processes uh, a critical part of the disease itself. So anyways, I'll go right back out. There are many other aspects of the nerve that we could go into, but I wanted to focus on that simply the communication of the nerve cell itself. And I'll give you a chance to look overall at the cell there. And this is just a wonderful piece of artwork and a presentation of the nerve cell. So anyways, I'll go into more detail about other aspects of the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. But at least that gives you a little bit of an overview of the nerve cell itself and uh, start with the understanding of how communication happens between nerve cells um, throughout the system. And that's it. Have a great day.